Rennie, uh, you're taking it. The Glazers still there. Do they really want out? It looks like they don't. Uh, but everything that Rio said is spot on. It is spot on. And uh, if you look at it over the years that it's been there, when it came in, obviously I was there at the time. And, uh, you know, we, we never really had, you know, any wheelings or dealings with it. They were sort of in the background, basically, because Sir Alex was in control. Together with David Gill, they managed it perfectly well and had no effect on everything that we wanted to do and achieve on the pitch. However, they did want to build this massive brand, this money-making machine underneath, eh, the commercialization of Man United. And, and to be fairly honest, it's been a, a, a great pick for the Glazers to pick Manchester United because to see what they've done. But if you sum it up, and I look back now, so many years that they've been in charge and you look at the recent years, then I can only come up with two words. Like, it's a bit, you know, complicated and disputable, you know? And again, <clears throat> with regards to that repayments, interest, what did it do, the fancy, they taking money out and exactly what Rio says, you know, the uncertainty, there's no clarity. What is the direction? What is the vision? Over there? Don't get me wrong. They have, they have put a hand where the wallet is because they have, I think, Correct me if I'm wrong, Jay. Maybe since Sir Alex left, spend about one billion for all the other managers, you know. And again, they, they're doing it now for Ten Hag. So on transfers, yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no complaints well, there. Well, Ten Hag has got Mount in, Anana in, Hoyland in. I mean, so there can't be any complaint there. But you're no longer at Manchester United, so I'll ask you straight: Do you want the Glazers gone? Yeah, I would because I feel I feel ownership has to be in a, in a, what do you call it they need to have an, a connection and affection with the club that's not there it's not there I mean you, you want you want to make sure that when those new ownership or whoever the ownership it is that again the fans want to associate themselves with a the manager they can so associate themselves with it's exactly the same with ownership they want to see that those people care look at what happened to Wrexham yeah those people because they care and they're clear this is what we're going to do you're going to be part of it and that's none of it. And that is, I think, what the, Man what the Manchester United fans are crying out for. you got no problem with United fans protesting against the Glazers still. It's not a distraction to what's actually going on in the field of play, or is it? Well, it depends how the, how the, you know, how the, protest is, you know, the, the protesting has been, uh, been organised. But it should not, it should not you know, be a problem for what Eric Ten Hag is trying to do with the team because they can't nothing, do nothing about it. But the, 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 the really strange thing for me is because ever since to the end of the season that it came up that yeah they're ready to sell numbers are flying all over the table the Qataris come in so Jim Ratcliffe comes in and here we are now sitting in, 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 in August one week before the Premier League starts yes Eric has been able to do some transfer things but still we're not any further we're not any further and that dragging on starts and will keep annoying fans and there's no sign, as, as you rightly say, it's dragging on and dragging on. There's no sign that there's going to be any conclusion which would appeal to the United support anytime soon. No, but because I think I've, I've done a bit of research and you look into it, it's probably more complicated than it is. Because if, if I read, I have to believe what I read is if the Glazers have 69% of, of all the shares and the other ones are still with 31% of other minority shareholders, they still have a say. And the Qatar is 100%, you know, and the way that they sort of thinking about taking the club and taking the club forward, I don't know exactly, but they would probably have, you know, a clear vision and a strategy to say, when we come in, this is what we do with the club, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And that is what needs, what's needed. For sure.